Hey everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at this MTH Brill semi-convertible trolley, which to me that's kind of gobbledygook because I know nothing about trolleys. Uh, to me this is just a trolley of the bogey variety, which means it has, you know, trucks and not just one, you know, two axle frame. Um, this trolley is manufactured by, you know, MTH Rail King, and it does have proto sound. Let me see what kind of proto sound this has. Um does not specify, I'm not sure, but it does have proto sound and it sounds really nice. Um, I did not know that such a thing as a proto sound trolley exists, but now that I've seen it and I know it's beautiful, you know, I'm glad I have it. Uh, by no means am I an expert at trolleys, um, so if I get any information wrong, then uh, correct me. Um, but I just appreciate trolleys uh, and streetcars and interurbans and rail of the lighter sort of classification. And I feel it's kind of sad that, you know, this iconic piece of uh, sort of transport was kind of ditched by most American cities. Like Chicago uh, had a massive, you know, trolley system. And so did a lot of other, you know, cities kind of in the Rust Belt, I guess you could say, because they were built so early on before automobiles were really a thing. And it's a good piece of history. And um, trolleys are, for being really old, they're very, very efficient. And it's... Funny how we're talking about doing electric cars and things like that when trolleys transport so many more people for probably less energy than an electric car even. So I guess let's get into the actual model itself and uh, why I got it. I got this model because um, I'm planning on building a small sort of light rail network on my layout, just a line down the uh, main road of my downtown area and just kind of going off into a more sort of industrial and then rural area where it terminates and has a shed. Um, not a very long line, but, you know, enough to warrant me getting a trolley. Um, Lionel does make, you know, bump and go trolleys, but they just seem kind of cheap. And I like to actually operate it myself, even if it is a short line. You know, I can just do kind of a slow crawl and make it last. Um, someday I might just get a Lionel post war trolley for, you know, the sake of having one, because having one of those zipping around, that adds a lot of action. But this is a very realistic trolley in a lot of aspects. So I guess you might as well start with the detail here. Very well applied uh, stamping or printing or whatever that is for the number. Very shiny, sort of gold, very ornate looking. And then we have some rivets, which I always like rivets on a model. I think they add a lot of you know, detail to it. And then we have a headlight. The headlight is a bit flickery at times if you're going slow, but uh, this doesn't really bother me. Then we have a bit of a plow thing down here. I don't think the camera can see that. Let me adjust the camera. Sorry for that. I don't like having to adjust the camera while it's recording. Um, that is pretty good. Uh, it is plastic, however, I believe, so it's kind of fragile, but you know, I don't really care about that because I'm not going to be crashing this thing, at least not intentionally. Uh, yeah, hopefully not. Now, moving on to the side of the trolley. There is a lot of good detail here as well. The crest here is beautiful, or the logo, I guess you could say. Um, it's got a very nice sort of gold finish, and it's got very crisp black lines. Um, I can't really read what that says. The, le the letters are just so ornate. There's so much going on. I think it says something like LVR or LVT. But it's a very nice bit of detail, that crest is. And it's much more interesting than just having a plain trolley. The red here, I love the red on this model. I like how the, you know, window frames, they have, you know, a slightly different shade of red, or it's kind of a brownish red. I don't know if that shows up on camera. But I like that little difference. Of course, the numbers, as always, look great. Some riveting detail. The trucks are very unique, and they're definitely, you know, trolley trucks. Definitely meant for lighter loads. Um, I believe the frames here are plastic, which doesn't bother me because this won't be doing a lot of heavy work. And there are a lot of good details such as, you know, some springs and the whole bearing boxes. And maybe these might be steps. I'm not too sure. Don't know everything about, you know, how equipment works. But I also forgot to mention the uh, sort of pantograph. Yeah, I guess pantographs, which I'll show. I don't know if they're still called pantographs for a uh, trolley, but I really enjoy uh, the detail here. Um, I can't really run this on my layout, or at least not until I get the trolley line set up, 
but you can raise and lower them. I think they made it so that you can wire one of the you know, power inputs to a wire that would connect to this and uh, go down to the electronics. At least that's what the uh, Lionel GG1 does. Uh, so I guess we might as well get this thing started up. As you saw in the intro piece, that this has a lot of sounds. Um, let's get started. All right, as you can see, there is a big black sort of blob there. That's where the electronics are. I don't mind that. Um, of course, I don't know which side the headlight is on. I don't think the headlight is on either side at this point. Let's do some sounds, you know, as it's standing still. Um, if you hold down the horn button when it's standing still, just rings the bell. And then if you push the bell button, that does nothing in um, neutral. Let's try the horn again. So you just got one single bell ring. Let's move forward and I'll hold this, hang on. Well, this is backwards, but when you're in motion, if you press and hold the horn button, hang on, you get the horn, and if you press the bell button, oh, this thing likes to make noise, um, if you press the um, bell button, just lightly tap it. get a bell and then if you press and hold the um, bell button it stops for you now I'd like to point out some things while it's in neutral um, we got a very very nice little sort of uh, name board there for the town. And. Up. Oh, take a listen. Up. Oh, bye. Okay. I guess it's decided to take off on its own, apparently. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure. But here it comes again. It's coming around. And I'll bring it to the side. And I guess I'll edge forward. This can do a pretty nice crawl, I'll demonstrate that. And then with the bell, give me a second. With the bell, when you're in neutral, you can press and hold it. Or sometimes, there are a few modes. I'm not too sure with this one. Um, sometimes you have complete control over the uh, equipment. And then sometimes it just decides to stop by itself. So, I'm not sure about that aspect. I've got a lot to learn about this uh, piece of equipment. However, if you like, you know, inner urbans or trolleys or whatever they're called, um, you'll definitely like this piece. I love the sounds and I like the bell. And the announcer, you get some pretty... Uh, interesting announcements there, um, a lot of personality with this piece, and I really like it. Um, it's a great, you know, buy if you're in the market for a trolley, and I would definitely recommend it. MTH also make more streamlined versions of this um, in tons of different paint schemes. They all look really, really nice. Uh, I was at a train store, and they had a bunch of these lined up. Um, definitely, if you're considering getting a trolley, get an MTH Proto Sound Trolley. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.